Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Miss Robinson and I'm back with, the, with another math video for you guys. Today, everybody can breathe a sigh of relief because we are going to learn the most common strategy for adding numbers together. And this is a strategy that everybody is probably familiar with, including parents, if you're a parent out there watching. Today, we're gonna just focus on the strategy of adding numbers together using our place value positions. Now, this is the most common uh, way that people have learned to add over the years, and this is probably what people are most accustomed to. We've learned a lot of strategies over the course of this chapter, and this is just another strategy strategy, but it just happens to be the strategy that most people are probably the most familiar with. So the examples in this lesson are going to be pretty simple and pretty straightforward because they are pretty common to everyone. And then we'll be done with this video. So I'm going to give you just a couple of examples, flip the camera around, give you some closing thoughts, and then that's it. Okay, so here we have our problem 236 plus 585. I have gone, up, gone ahead and come up with my estimated answer. 236 rounded down to 200. 585 rounded up to 600 based on my rounding rules. Now I'm gonna go ahead and come up with my real answer, keeping in mind that my real answer has to be somewhere around 800 for me to be confident in it. What I need to remember when I'm adding numbers using the place value strategy is that in any place value position, I cannot end up with more than 10. If I have more than 10, I need to regroup. And regrouping means I'm gonna carry that extra bit that I have to the next place value position. And that will make some more sense as we go through this problem. So in the ones place, I have six ones plus another five ones. Six ones plus five ones is gonna give me 11 ones. But I just said I can't have more than 10. So what I can do is I'm gonna bring down the one leftover one from 11. And I'm gonna remind myself that in the number 11, there's one 10 piece and then one one piece. And that is what this one represents. The 10 piece that makes up uh, or helps to make up 11 is going to be regrouped in the tens place. So I'm gonna put that there. So I've regrouped that 10 right there in the tens place. Then I'm gonna go on and add my tens, making sure to remember that I have to include that regrouped 10 as well. So I have three tens, plus another eight tens. That is gonna give me 11 tens, plus another 10, that's going to give me 12 tens, and that is too many tens. I can only have 10 or less. So instead of representing 12 tens in the tens place, I'm gonna go ahead and put down the two tens out of the 12 tens that I have, and then I'm gonna represent the remaining tens by regrouping those in the hundreds place. There are 10 tens and 100. That's why there's a one there in that regrouped position. Then I'm gonna go to my hundreds and I'm gonna add two hundreds plus five hundreds, that's gonna give me seven hundreds, plus another hundred, that's going to give me eight hundreds. So my final answer right now for 236 plus 585 is 821. Before I feel good about it and say I'm done with this problem, I'm gonna check it to my estimate and say, is 821 close to 800? And I think that it is. So I know that I'm good to go and I'm ready to move on to the next example. So I'm gonna give you guys one more example and in this example, we're gonna add three numbers together and we're still gonna go through the same steps. All right, here is my next example, and notice in this example we are adding three numbers together. First, I wanna come up with an estimated answer, and I'm gonna use a slightly different strategy because all three of these add-ins are really close to numbers that are like in the 50s or an even 100. So I'm gonna just use those to kind of come up with a quick estimate. So 140, I'm gonna go ahead and round that, whoa, I'm gonna go ahead and round that to 150. 457, I'm gonna round that to 450. And 301, I'm just gonna round that to 300. I'm gonna add all these together. Zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Five plus five is 10. So I'm gonna regroup that one up there. Three plus four is seven. 
plus one is eight, plus the regrouped one is nine. So this tells me that my real answer needs to be somewhere around 900. So we're gonna leave that there just so that we don't forget. I'm gonna give myself a little room. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add each place value position one at a time. Remember, you're gonna always start to the furthest place value position on the right. So I have zero plus seven, that's easy. It's gonna be seven, and then seven plus one is eight. There is no regrouping required here because I've accomplished having 10 or less. Nothing needs to be regrouped in the tens place. Then I'm gonna move on. Four plus five is nine, and then nine plus zero is still gonna be nine. Again, no regrouping required there because I did not have more than 10. And then the hundreds place, one plus four is five, and five plus three is going to be eight. No regrouping required there. So right now my answer is 898. And before I feel good about it, I'm gonna say, is that close to my estimated answer? It absolutely is, it's only two off. So I feel good and confident that my answer is correct and I can move on with my life. So those are my two examples for you guys. I'm gonna flip the camera around, give you some closing thoughts and guess what? You will be all done for the day. All right, so those are your two examples for this lesson. This video is pretty simple and pretty straightforward because like I said in the intro, this strategy of just using your place value positions is the most common strategy out there and it is the one that most people tend to be the most comfortable with because it's the most familiar to them. So the two things that I really want you guys to remember in this particular strategy and really with all the strategies is you wanna make sure to use those estimated answers. Take the quick second to come up with an estimated answer because that's kind of like your security blanket at the end when you solve the problem and that is the estimate is what you're going to use to make sure that you're on the right track. Secondly, when you're going through the steps of adding, just be very careful and pay close attention to what you're doing so that when you are regrouping, you really understand what that regrouping means and that you don't forget to add that regrouped number as you're going through the steps of solving the problem. Aside from that, everything else is pretty much the same. You got to add those numbers, use your estimated answer to check your real answer against, and then once you've confirmed that they're close then you're good to go and you can count yourself done on that particular problem so with that being said if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and i will be sure to see you guys in the next one have a great day everybody bye